In this video, I'll show you how to enable Hey Google on your Google Assistant or Gemini Assistant so that you don't have to manually trigger the Gemini. You can, like now, to start Gemini, I had to long press on the home menu here. I didn't have to do that, but now it's already typing, so this is maybe this is what you want, but I'm not sure. Uh, I can always stop that from pressing again the home menu. If you want to start the Google Assistant or the Gemini Assistant without having to press any buttons on the screen, this is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, but this will work on any, any Android phone, really. As long as you have the Google services on your phone, you should be able to use this. So the menus might be a little bit different, though. This, you could actually search for the option. So for now I want to test it to show you that I don't have it. So I say, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Nothing happens when I say, hey, Google. So let's enable it and see how it goes. From here, I go into settings. In the settings page here, you find Google. Press on Google. And then all services. After you press all services, search for search for assistant and voice. Search assistant and voice. And this will work on both the Google Assistant and the Gemini. Here you have Google Assistant, Hey Google and Voice Match. You can choose if you want to activate the Google Assistant with the voice command. And this is Hey Google and Voice Match. These are the settings here. You can use Voice Match. So it only replies to your Hey Google, not someone else's Hey Google. And someone makes a joke on you. This is so someone can make a joke on you and order something while your phone is locked. Hey Google, access your assistant anytime that you, that you say. Access your assistant anytime that you say Hey Google, even if your screen is off. Requires voice match so that your assistant can tell it you apart from others. So I enable it now. And now I have to change some settings. If if you agree, your assistant will wait to standby mode, and uh, it will it's waiting for you to say "Hey Google." Basically, it requires voice match. Without "Hey Google," you can still touch and you can still use the you can still use the Google Assistant, but less convenient. So. It might be activated even if you didn't intend to. When you say, hey Google, it could be activated by mistake. You can always change this. So I agree. Let's teach Google to recognize your voice. I think it already learned it. <laughs> voice much allows you, oh no, I agree, okay. Say, hey Google, help me write a thank you note. Okay. Now say, hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay, Google, explain how a rainbow is formed. Wow. Okay, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Sounds great. Okay. So, hey Google, is ready. Oh, I just did it. I think that was it. It's ready. I have to avoid saying it now. So it's enabled. Retrain your voice model, delete the voice model. These are the options there. So I can reset up. If, if it's not getting it right, if it's things that it's not you, you can always redo this. You can also disable it from here. So let's try. Okay, so the phone is on the desk now and I will ask it Hey Google, what's the weather today? In Larnaca, it'll be mostly sunny, with a high of 17 and a low of 7. Right now it's 13 and mostly sunny. Uh, hey Google. What's the weather tomorrow? In Larnaca, there'll be scattered showers, with a high of 16 and a low of 7. And what's the weather next week? So it doesn't it doesn't learn it doesn't reply to your messages like a natural language. You will still have to say, "Hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow?" 
it didn't pick up this one. Hey Google, what's the weather next week? Hey Google, what's the weather next week? You also get uh, green. Tomorrow through Tuesday in Larnaca, there'll be scattered showers with highs around 15 and lows around 7. Wednesday through Friday, it'll be mostly sunny with highs around 17. Lows will be around 7 Wednesday, be around 7 on Thursday, then be around 8 on Friday. Next. Hey Google, make a Google search for how to build a DIY home NAS server. Nurse server. As a large language model, I cannot help you with that. So it's pretty limited. If you want more functionality, you can actually use the Google Assistant for this. And it will do Google searches for you, YouTube searches and a lot of things. And to disable this option, the search, you go back to the same menu and in the Hey Google settings, Hey Google and voice match. Voice match is a feature that allows Google Assistant to recognize your voice and provide personalized results. It can be used on Android phones, Google Nest speakers, and other assistant can provide you with personalized results. I can't such as your mute calendar it. events, reminders, and contacts. I can't make it stop. It keeps talking. There's no. Uh. Okay, that was a bit strange. I couldn't. I couldn't make it stop talking. It kept. It kept going. So I go into settings. I will. I will disable it because I want to be able to only use it when I want to and to be sure that this is what I want here. And settings, go into the Google settings here and all services. Maybe it's here also, but all services, search and voice assistant, hey Google and voice match. Whenever I say that, it, it pops up. So really, I don't want this. Um, Disable this feature. Uh, delete the voice model. Remove the voice model. I think that's better to remove it. No need for it. And disable Hey Google. So now I can say Hey Google, Hey Google so many times. And now I can re-enable it. I can always re-enable it if I want to. But this is, in some ways, using Hey Google voice commands might trigger the Google Assistant when you really don't intend to start it. So you have to be careful with that. I prefer to have the button here, but this is how you enable it, how you use it. How, but this is how you enable Hey Google, the voice command for Hey Google, and how you use it. And also, I show you how to disable it. Thanks for watching.